Hello everybody, welcome to Voice of War, second part of setting Stripe as non-resident. Well, if you did not watch part one, I want you to watch it because in part one, we talk about the checklist. If you will follow the steps I'm taking as I'm setting this account, you have to have things that I mentioned on the first video and I explain why each thing is essential and what are the importance and everything. So make sure you firstly watch the first checklist video and then you're here with me, ready to set your healthy long-term stripe. So, as you guys will remember, uh, VPS is essential and I use Microsoft Remote Desktop. Simply, if you're using a Mac, you can download it from uh, Apple Store. Um, any VPS provider that you will use, they will give you an IP. After you put that IP, you're also going to be asked an ID and the password. Let's try again. All right. So we simply log in and so simply let me put my personal email. Any questions you have, you can reach me directly as well. Um, Let me note that. This is the main part, as you know, the activation of the account, linking it. Thanks and everything. All right, so we tell about our business here. Our business is based in the US. We put our address in the US. The zip address, everything that you put, make sure that it will also be on your website. I'm gonna mention it when that part comes. And we have business in Delaware. We have an LLC. You choose what, what type of like entity you have, what type of business you have. If you have an incorporation, you choose corporation. Um, mine is LLC, single member LLC. Okay, I'm gonna put my full name. If you didn't know, I have the name Abdullah that I never use in my life. But my lovely aunt gave it to me, so I put my surname, capital letters, all right, my, here I'm going to put our company, I say it's personal, right, here we'll put our personal mail address, okay, it says straight up when we started. It asks about our US phone number. I have one. On the checklist I was mentioning, as you remember. So for the social security, I don't have SSN number. Well, instead, what I use is um, my item number. Um, I'm not, I did not memorize it, so I'll check it simply. 5311. All right. So simply, the business is super important. Whatever, uh, whatever industry you're in, please choose it. If you're doing e-commerce, like choose e-commerce. Uh, us is going to be like legal services if they have. Um, let me see the one that fits best with us. Yes, this one that I'm setting is for the new services we have. Right, choose this one. Choose our new website. Let me put an actual 
an actual HTTPC one. Okay, simply like very uh, shortly as they can understand, I'm like describing our business and what we do. Okay, simply with the description. Okay, this is right now it's like two months. Okay, those it says in statement the descriptors, it's simply like when you um, give them like the statements. The, this is the way that they will see your name uh, we are right with our like um, this one that they started the short and descriptor is like the item for us is the way that they're gonna see us on the bank statement and our address and the phone number that they're asking so next step is bank details So here, like you're putting the routing number and account number. Uh, this one is going to be handed out, but like make sure it's a checking account, as they say. Don't put the one that if it's saving or anything else. And also, uh, U.S. physical banking is super important and necessary. So simply to our U.S. phone number, uh, we're going to receive. A message all right waiting for the code Okay, the backup code as they ask, I'm going to save it on my notes. So right now we're checking and we will confirm it, our banking here. And everything looks like we'll, we're ready to go and we just confirm it. And then we double check, but I think it's good if you double check it, but I don't do it. All right, so that's it for today. We just did a submission and now we're gonna wait until they confirm. And after that, I will also have a, another part of a video that I'm showing that everything is like went through smooth or if is there anything that they're asking further i will share everything and let's see and let's hope for the best and see if they accept my business and the account that i'm trying to open up with them as a non-resident but non-resident us business owner so thank you for watching my video if you did like my video please subscribe to the channel and write down a comment let's talk anything you'd like to talk and i'll see you on part three take care